Hi, Sean Fisk here with 24-7 Emergency Restoration Services. Today we're going to walk you through a residential cleaning. The purpose of this film is to teach new technicians the process that we use. Now in the training video we're going to talk about one and two man teams. It's not unusual for us to run one man teams. So if you have two men, the two men are going to do slightly different things to, to back up one another. In the case of two men, we have a lead technician and we have a helper. And it really doesn't matter who the person is, it's just the tasks that are assigned. So I'm going to take a few different positions as, uh, as we go through this. We're going to break it down uh, step by step and I hope that you find this useful. Thank you. Hey, good morning. I'm Jake with 24-7. Here you go. Here's Thank my you. car. And I'm here to clean your car. Yes, come on in. All right. I have some dogs and some kids and stuff like that, so they're, okay. they're pretty That'll friendly no here. Problem. No problem. So what I, I would I'd like you to do is I'd like you to um, clean this room. Okay. And then I, um, I need this room over here done. Uh -huh. And then what I'd like you to do is just move the um, end tables and just clean, you know, the traffic areas over here. Sounds and then, of course, good. my hallway, there's a couple little dirt spots, and you just see if you can get those out. Definitely. And then in, um, I have three kids' bedrooms, so just in the kids' bedrooms, I just want the carpet. I don't want any of the furniture moved in any of the children's rooms. There's one over here. Okay. And then there's one over here for the children's room. And then in my master bedroom... What I'd like you to do is I'd like you to um, move everything except, of course, my bed and my computer and my book shelf. The rest of the stuff I need moved and um, cleaned. And then just there, of course, there's my master bathroom. If you wouldn't mind just getting that done, too, I'd ask. I'd All appreciate right. it. Not a problem. I'm just going to measure out some measurements really quick, and I'll get you the price right here. Perfect. Thank you. Yeah, thank and you. I'm just going to take care of some dishes. Right. Sounds good. All right, Jake has already greeted the customer and now he understands what she's looking for. So his next step will be to distribute blocks and tabs to all the furniture that he's moving, to all the furniture that he's moving so that uh, if he were on a two-man team, he would be the helper distributing these blocks and tabs as the client negotiated. But this also alerts the other partner what furniture is being moved. In this case, we don't have any tabs that need to go. So now Jake is going to begin to set up the furniture. Any furniture that's being moved, we will not leave a lamp on there because lamps always get broken. So Jake's going to take the lamp and he's going to carefully place it onto the bed because the bed is not being moved. If indeed we were moving the bed, then Jake would find another place to safely place the lamp. Now Jake's going to take all the pictures and he's going to set them down so that when he moves that piece of furniture, they won't fall down. He has his box there. Now he goes to the dresser. He's going to check that mirror because sometimes the mirrors are attached and sometimes they aren't. If they're not attached, then they need to be removed before you start moving the mirror. And now he's going to set all the pictures down on, on the dresser and move some of the precious moments off onto the bed because they would easily break. Some of the other items he'll just move into the center and he'll need to use discretion as to what gets removed from the dresser. And, and what stays there and just gets put into a different position. So you can see that he's carefully placing it on the bed. Now the customer is going to appreciate that he's protecting her items. And I can tell you there's, there's not much worse than having to tell a customer you've just broke something of theirs. Not only is it expensive for the company, but it's very embarrassing as a technician. Now Jake's going to move this chair right there out of this area and he's going to go ahead and place it in the bathroom if it'll fit on the tile. And if it won't fit in the bathroom on the tile, he can always stick it into the tub. As you're setting up a room, you should look for things like these dirty dog beds. The dog beds are just gonna get in the way and they can be placed in a tub they can't remain on the carpet. They can't go back on the carpet until the carpet's fully dry. Make sure the dog is friendly before you try to get it out of its bed. That could be a, 
a situation that could get ugly. But Jake's going to move both of those <laughs> dog beds <laughs> into the tub. And uh, he'll remind the customer that the dog beds can't be uh, put back until the carpet's completely dry. So now Jake has walked through with the client and found out what furniture she wants moved so he can take an accurate measurement so he can start working up the price. In this room, she specified that we're going to move all of the furniture in the living room area here, less the TV. So Jake's going to measure virtually wall to wall. Now in some rooms we have angles, like the fireplace and like this entryway right here. And so in that case you have to do a little bit of averaging and uh, come up with the closest measurement you can so that we can do this uh, rapidly and also uh, as efficiently and accurately as possible. So now in the bedrooms where Jake is headed right now, he's gonna measure differently because we're not moving a lot of this furniture. The customer was concerned about the legs on this um, particular piece of furniture right here and the bed is not gonna be easy to move because it's not on wheels. So Jake's gonna measure uh, various triangle, um, excuse me, rectangles that are going to be cleaned to get as accurate a picture of the amount of cleaning that we're doing without overcharging for areas we're not cleaning. So that will be the way that the measurements will be taken and then worked up on the invoice. Hello, Mrs. Fisk. I have finished measuring all the rooms, I got your total, and I measured out 950 square feet throughout the house. And for steam cleaning, we charge 22 cents per square foot, which does include pre-vac, which comes out to $209. Okay, I already vacuumed. Would I be able to get a discount on that price since I vacuumed already? Um, unfortunately not, because our vacuums are very powerful, so when we go over it, it brings up a lot of the soil and dirt still within the carpet, so it makes it better clean. Okay. And then, for, you also requested us to do shampooing yeah. because we do have pets. Uh, we charge 10 cents per square foot, which comes out to $95. And then you also wanted to display Teflon on the carpet, yeah. which comes out to $0.12 cents per square foot, which your total will be $114. Your subtotal would be 418 plus tax, which comes out to 3109 Your total price is going to be $449.09. Okay. Okay, if you could just sign here, give me authorization to start cleaning the house. And if you can also initial right below it, just saying if you step from the carpet, which will still be a little bit wet, onto the tile, you just won't slip and fall, so you just need to be careful. All right, thank you.